in London, Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg and MP Robert Halfon were joined by several members of the Jewish community for a very special Hanukkah celebration. The reception sponsored by Robert Halfon was organised as part of the new all-party parliamentary group on British Jews. Set up in October, the group aims to broaden the dialogue between Parliament and the Jewish community in Britain. Well, it's our pleasure to host a reception for Hanukkah here in the House of Parliament and to, um, to be able to talk to parliamentarians about some of the issues facing the Jewish community in a really convivial, um, celebratory way. To be able to celebrate being Jewish with um, Jewish representatives, Jewish MPs, Jewish members of the House of Lords is really a wonderful thing. And to be able to celebrate Hanukkah in the Mother of Parliament is, is something that I'm very proud to support. And in the spirit of Hanukkah, Nick Clegg lit a candle on the menorah and paid tribute to the Board of Deputies. I really am very, very, very pleased to be here. I want to pay tribute again to the, to the work of, uh, of Vivian, of you and, and of everybody at the, at the Board and really to celebrate everything that so many um, members of the British community have contributed to our country over such a long period of uh, time. But in our house, the candles burn, the Hanukkah story is told. We spin the dreidel, eat some donuts, play games as the day turns to night. I heard about a uh, Hanukkah story the other day about a, about, uh, I think, oil that lasted for eight days, is that right? At a, at a, having spent so many days debating the future of energy policy, um, <laughs> Uh, and making what little we have go that much further. I wish we were able to uh, emulate the Hanukkah story. Uh, we, in a sense, have tried to do so in policy terms, but not uh, in quite the miraculous terms of that story. The reception was also an opportunity for guests to discuss in more detail pressing issues with MPs. President of the Board of Deputies, Vivian Wyman, said he wanted parliamentarians to be familiar with some of the topics important to Jewish life, such as circumcision, and Sabbath observance. We want to help Jewish people keep the Sabbath and, it can, and our festivals. And it can be very difficult, like this year, most of the festivals fell within the middle of the week. So teachers, who have very, very inflexible schedules, had difficulty getting time off. David Lammy, an MP whose constituency is home to a significant number of Haredi Jews, told JM1 that it is important to bring issues affecting communities to Parliament. Well, look, I think that this year Rosh Hashanah came up very early in the term in January. That doesn't happen every year. Um, but I think that actually it's very easy for the Department for Education and Skills to issue guidance to their schools uh, to anticipate um, cultural festivals of relevance, not just to this community, but there are other communities as well, so that schools can properly prepare. A lot of what happens happens out of ignorance, and this is about forward planning, and I think that very easily the department's in a good place to promote that. The next all-party parliamentary group meeting will take place in February 2014. And just as Hanukkah is a celebration of religious freedom, all three political party representatives stress that Britain too is a country of freedom and tolerance for people of all faiths. This is Celestine Olalode for JM1 in London.